What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Deontay Wilder has been medically suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission after his defeat by Tyson Fury. The American was under cush from the first, very first bell, and Fury lived up to the promise to attack and put his opponent on the back foot, managing to drop the Bronze Bomber twice. <clears throat> Wilder was pulled from the fight in the seventh round by trainer Mark Breland, of course, with blood gushing from his ear, lip, and, and with knockout seemingly inevitable. Such was the alarming flow of the stream of claret from the left ear of the Bronze Bomber. There was speculation he could have... <clears throat> Uh, pre perforated his eardrum after a clubbing right hand dropped him in the third. It was later confirmed that he just required seven stitches inside the ear steam stem. The flow of blood, although the uh, Nevada State Athletic Commission have confirmed Wilder will be unable to even spar in the state until April 8th and cannot fight until April 23rd. Given it is uh, merely a six-week suspension, this has not prevented the former WBC heavyweight champion from invoking his rematch clause for the third fight with Tyson Fury. Whoever lost to Sin City had 30 days in which to trigger the clause and which gave them a 40-60 split of the third purse, which Wilder confirming on Monday he intended to seek a trilogy fight. Initially, the rubber match was set for July 18th in Las Vegas, Although Fury's co-promoter, Frank Warren, has admitted this now could be pushed back until September or October and held at the Las Vegas Raiders um, 72,000 seat stadium. So this is what we have. We have him, and this is protocol. This is, you know, when the fighter gets stopped and especially the way he was stopped, the you know, the tile was thrown in. This is just more confirmation that the fight should have been stopped anyway. The referee said he was going to stop it. You know, Kenny Bayless said that. Um, <clears throat> Mark Breland took it upon himself to stop it, and he wasn't even regarded as the head coach. But he did what he felt was right. And according to um, Nevada State Athletic Commission, this is what we have. You know, and because here's the thing. People argue... And people have argued and disputed and argued and disputed that, hey, Mark Breland shouldn't have done what he's done. We've already counterpunched this. Now the Nevada State Athletic Commission has suspended him. If he if he was never if he was never suspended, they would have had an argument. But this debunks it all. This shows you that, hey, no, he's suspended, medically suspended. OK, not because of an A sample or a B sample. However, I do want to add this while I'm here. Um. Deontay Wilder himself had problems producing his A sample. So he had problems uh, urinating to even give his sample, but it was given. That's the point. Okay, so if we want to have some true facts on the matter about uh, Deontay Wilder, this is what we should know and understand. Um, they just want Deontay Wilder to be healed up enough to spar and to train back again. And I think it's, uh, it, again, it is protocol. You know, they do suspend fighters. Like Tyson Fury, when he cut his eye real bad, he was not allowed to spar for, I think, 90 days or um, 60 days, 60 to 90 days, I believe. So it is a, it, it is a fair protocol that um, the Nevada State Athletic Commission does when, you know, a fighter is injured to that magnitude, okay? But again, that just shows you that this fight was even that much closer to be stopping or be or to be stopped by other sources. And if he was, if again, if it was nothing medically wrong with him, this wouldn't have been even been a suspension. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Deontay Wilder being suspended by Nevada State Athletic Commission. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.